guys, this is Mateo's 2020 Politics here, and today we have yet another story on Donald Trump being childish, which is uh, not exactly too rare. So you all know I made a video. I made a video recently um, on Fox News. Even Fox News came out with a poll saying, "Look, man, Trump's gonna lose in 2020." Um, but then Trump just said, oh, they're fake, Fox News has been changing, oh my gosh, they can't trust us anymore. And now he's saying Fox News isn't working for us anymore. Th that's what this video is on, him saying Fox News isn't working for us anymore. Of course he tweeted this. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to make a video on. So I'm, I'm a bit confused, because... What do you mean Fox News isn't working for us? Us meaning me, my Trump supporters, which is only like 43% of the country. Not even half. Because when you say it that way, it almost seems as if, what, our news station is supposed to work for the president? Or report actual news? He basically, he basically just indirectly said, yeah, Fox News is starting to actually report real news. Damn it, why are they not working for me anymore? Because, let's just face it, Fox News is like Trump's pet. They report anything that he says. They say that there's a infestation, an invasion of illegal immigrants. When in fact, it's, I, I in that video I made about the Fox News immigration propaganda, I it was disproved by an article written by NPR and Criminology. Simply disproved. It has a the infestation is at a historical low, and illegal immigrants are far less likely to commit every sing, are far less likely to commit crimes in general than native-born Americans. I mean, they're less likely to commit murder, sexual, and money crimes, larceny crimes. So I mean. If anything, instead of instead of deporting illegal immigrants, we should be deporting native-born Americans. But you see the you see the roots of this, right? Clear, clear. It's very clear that Trump is being prejudiced and Fox News because why? Of all people, why do they have to attack the illegal immigrants? They're literally committing less crimes than native-born Americans. But you're like, oh, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna create propaganda because we hate Latinos, and we're gonna just deport every single one of those illegal immigrants, even though they're committing less crimes than white people themselves. So again, Fox News is still Trump's pet because you know Joe Walsh, um, a new Republican challenger to Trump, went on Fox News, and he was like. Oh my gosh, this guy, this is so brilliant. Joe Walsh, you know, he's being interviewed. He says to the reporter, Do you believe that the president lies? Now, just to get, let you guys know, he does lie. The Washington Post revealed that in 2017, he lied, I believe, something like 8,000 times. No, 7,000 times. And then in the 2018, it was like 8,000. So it's been factually proven that Trump lies. Like, and you don't even have to, and like, even if you say, oh, Washington Post, <laughs> that's fake news, bro. It's not rad. You know, it's uh, it's not tubular. But <laughs> it's, um, even then, you could simply, I don't know, you just hear what Trump says, you look up the actual facts, and what he was saying was wrong. It's clearly a lie. It is a lie. It simply is. Because remember that time when he was like, yeah, the only reason why Hillary Clinton won the popular vote was because there were multiple, there were three to four million illegal immigrants that voted for her. Mind you, he said this with no evidence at all to back it up. And remember, in elementary school, we all learned to use evidence to support our claims. So, these are all obvious lies. But it's so crazy that even when Joe Walsh, or, or, or Joe Walsh, a Republican himself, goes on Fox News, he says... Do you believe this president has ever lied? Which again is factually true. He has lied. It's kind of a, it's a, it was supposed to be a rhetorical question, but the interviewer just says no. And then Joe Walsh is like, "Excuse me, do you believe the president has lied to the people?" And then the interviewer is just like, "No, he hasn't." And Joe Walsh is like, "Okay, okay, <laughs> it's it's the perfect answer." 
Enough said. You don't have to prove anything. You just say, okay. Because, essentially, Fox News is literally lying to the viewers. Because we all know Trump has lied. It's been factually proven. So Fox News is, of course, kissing Trump's ass. Sorry, my, my language. And they are Trump's pet. So literally, although it's been factually proven that he's lied, they're going to say, no, he hasn't lied. He just exaggerates things. I'm sorry, but in some ways, exaggeration is lying. Because when he said, you know, that the only reason why, Trump, why Hillary Clinton won was because of three to four illegal immigrant votes, was that a lie? No. I mean, sorry, was that an exaggeration? No. It was straight up a lie. Because, you know, if it were to be an exaggeration, maybe it'd be like, okay, it's been proven that one million illegal immigrants voted for Hillary Clinton, Trump is saying three million, but even then... It hasn't been proven at all that Hillary Clinton got illegal immigrant votes. So Trump is just making up a claim out of thin air, and Fox News is just backing him up and saying, he hasn't lied a single time. Not a single time. So, you know, it kind of makes me surprised because Trump is not is showing his true colors. You know, he, lit he literally believes Fox News is supposed to work for me. And if you don't work for me anymore, you're becoming disloyal. Disloyal. You're not a good pet anymore. We, I will find a new pet station. That's his actual thought process. I mean, since when is the news supposed to be working for a president? That's corruption right there. That's corruption. That's propaganda. The news is literally reporting propaganda to back up the president. There's a clear bias there. And... It's like, I'm sorry, are they not supposed to report real news? They're supposed to follow you? You know, I think this is very self-explanatory, the way Trump sees Fox News as this disloyal pet. I mean, this makes Fox News look like the fake news. And mind you, you guys might wonder, why is Trump so upset at Fox News? Well, again, it's because Fox News came out with a... A poll that showed Trump was losing in 2020 against Biden, Sanders, Warren, and Harris. Trump got mad, right, because even Fox News was saying that he would lose, and then he had a temper tantrum and said, Fox News, Fox News is becoming fake. I don't know what's happened to it, but something is clearly up with it. It's a shame, right? Fox News does something honest for once, and thank you, Fox News, because you actually made this poll accurate. You accurately did your job. You did, you got the poll. The poll shows that Trump loses. So thank you, Fox News. You did the right thing. Then here comes Trump. Oh my gosh, you're not, you're being disloyal. What's wrong with you? You're supposed to be my pet, my pet. You're not supposed to report real news. You're supposed to be my pet. And everybody's like, um, <laughs> no. I'm sorry, but when is the news supposed to become your pet? When is the news supposed to work for the president. Since when is that a thing? That's corruption. Pretty common sense. Trump showed us true colors. So thanks for watching this video, guys, and bye. I'm going to be uploading another video today.